You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona. And I'm joined now by Victor Esparza, who is Strategic Product Manager of 5G Core Networks at Ericsson. Victor, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Now, network slicing is going to be a key component of 5G, but what exactly do we mean by network slicing? Let's, let's do it uh, in a very simple way. So basically, network slicing is the possibility to deploy the software that you want, where you want, and when you want, and be able to isolate it to achieve a certain level of service characteristics. And why is it of interest to mobile operators? Network slicing is a way to incorporate multidimensional differentiation in the network for subscribers, for services, and for operators would be is a key tool in order to monetize different types of use cases. Is this something that's exclusive to 5G, or can we actually offer it with LTE networks? No, network slicing is something that is possible today in the existing LTE EPC networks. Actually, there are some use cases already available for network slicing out there, and there are important capabilities now in the core network that allows uh, first introduction of network slicing. So what added capabilities will 5G bring to network slicing? In 5G, there are, of course, there is a lot of business potential related to stream use cases where you need to control performance, bandwidth, availability. Network slicing can play a key role in that type of use cases. And uh, network slicing takes also a very important role in the new specification of the 5G core networks, where it goes all the way into all the functions. So all functions in the specification, they are aware about the network slice concept. So you're talking end-to-end -end network slicing? Yeah, absolutely. We are looking at slicing from the source up to the service point. What are the key elements that need to be in place before a network operator can seriously consider network slicing? Of course, you need to have capabilities for slicing in your network functions. It's good to have virtualization because it gives you a lot of flexibility, a lot of possibilities to deploy the software in a very efficient way. And uh, it's very important to have orchestration because that is the key tool to basically be able to manage this in a cost efficient way. Is this a service that's going to be country specific or can a, 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 a vertical enterprise customer with operations around the world use this across borders and boundaries? Actually, we launched something last year called Federated Network Slicing and it allows you to build a constellation of uh, slices that you can handle and you can deploy uh, irrespective of the geography. So for an operator, does network slicing offer lower capex or is it about new revenue opportunities? Both, actually. One, for sure, is cost saving because you can assign resources when matters and align with the usage, align with the business models that you want to deploy. And on, uh, uh, of course, with network slicing, you can improve the, uh, the service offering and make it more you know, business driven and be able to capture new sources of revenues. Victor, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.